Hey YouTube, welcome back. It is December and with that, for a lot of people, comes a lot of stress around stuff like nutrition, stuff like training, their health, their fitness goals, okay? So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through some of my sort of new tips from a nutritional side of things during this month. No matter really what your goal, I'm going to walk you through a few things that I would maybe look at, focus on and think about during this month to one, you know, potentially stay on track with your goal, whatever that might be. And two, you know, to enjoy the month and not really have this stress, anxiety, guilt around food. Don't forget, if you do enjoy the video, please do drop a like. If you have any questions throughout it, throw them down below. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Okay, so the big number one first tip is do not over restrict during this month, okay? Now, yes, during this month there are going to be more socials, <clears throat> most likely. Potentially going to be eating out more, having meals in with family, friends, whatnot. But don't, as a result of that, then over restrict yourself, okay? Because the issue people have with over restricting, whether that is then, you know, cutting back on calories very harshly, whether that is cutting out certain food groups or items, whether that is even, you know, how you think about food, you know, and if you're talking about food as being da bad or damaging, stuff like that, unhealthy, stuff like that, those sort of actions often actually just backfire, right? And when we, when we think like that or when we over-restrict and eat like that, that can often then just result, again, like I said, backfiring and maybe stuff like binging and maybe stuff like even just more intake as a whole, right? Because you feel bad about a certain action, behavior, food intake, and you know, and then you react emotionally. And that can mean a few things, but when people react emotionally, normally, that actually doesn't lead to, an, uh, lead to anything positive, okay? So no matter if you're having more socials, no matter if you had a night out, don't reply to that or respond to that with being over restrictive, okay? This month, don't think to yourself the strategy is to be more restrictive. Two, the socials that you do have, try and manage as best you can, right? So what I mean by this is, at the end of the day, yes, we want to have, we want to, you know, have enjoyment, have a good time. But if you do have a specific goal during this month, we also have to take responsibility for our actions, okay? So within these socials, try and manage them as best you can. That might look like throughout that day maybe not over restricted but maybe cutting back on calories a little bit in, in in previous meals maybe really making sure protein is high throughout the day so when we come to that social event we're not starving hungry and then gonna eat more maybe in that meal in itself we're trying to pick meals that are high in protein high in veg intake as best we can you know maybe we're eating to hunger in that meal and not fullness so if there's stuff left on the plate and we're hungry we just leave it maybe we're being smarter with you know, food choices, maybe we're not having a dessert, um, you know, maybe we're not having a start just to, you know, reduce calories a little bit um, within that meal in itself. Maybe we are, you know, not going all out on the drink intake where we know it's very easy to rack up calories without it doing anything for our hunger management. So there's a few things that we can do, right? And again, there's even other strategies, you know, through the week, you could reduce calories a little bit. Again, it's not over restricting because you might just reduce calories by, let's say, 50 or 100 for each day leading up to that to that event, which then might give you a good 600, 700 calories spare for that event. Right. That's a strategy that I wouldn't do regularly, sort of week to week, because it's probably not the best, but it's there for the one or two maybe occasions. Number three. The days events where we maybe can't manage it too well and you know potentially are gonna let's say overeat um, and and you know our actions behaviors might be away from our goal and not in line it's only really going to be let's say five days max from through christmas through to to, the, to new year itself right five days max over a, a month six seven week period isn't a lot and if we're still doing things that are, are in line with our, with our um, goals on all the other days of that month, or the majority of them, then we're going to be fine, okay? So if it is just a few days, 
that there's no point stressing about it, no point, you know, feeling guilty about it or getting anxious about it because a few days, you know, in the long term, big picture scheme of things, isn't going to do much at all. And then lastly, number four, control what you can, okay? So yes, there might be some meals you can't control, okay? There might be some days that you can't control. But again, like I just previously mentioned, there's going to be a lot of other days that you can control. There's going to be things that you can control, such as your um, general activity, how many steps you're getting day to day, your training sessions, how many times you're training a week, your sleep. You know, there's going to be things that you can control throughout the majority of this week, and if uh, sorry, month or weeks. And if you do do that, and you do control what you can control, and make sure they're in line with your goal, then really, in reality, there is no reason why this month can't be like any other in terms of being on track with your goal. Quite often, there's a few things people can't control and they let those few things that they can't control then impact other things that they can control, right? What we need to do is not focus too much on what we can't control because we can't control it and instead focus on things that we can control and work with them. So there you have it. There's my four, sort of four tips when it comes to nutrition um, in general around this sort of month or these few weeks. But the main thing is this, right? Again, it's a month. Do enjoy it. It's a very festive month, social month. Do enjoy it. Okay, do have fun with family, friends. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy both um, parts of the equation, you know, the social life, the enjoyment, and, you know, our goal, whatever that might be during this month. Everyone's goal is different. Hopefully these tips help you do that. If you do have any questions, do throw them down below. If you did find this video helpful, please do drop a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.